Welcome back, everybody. This is Dog. Hope everybody's doing well. Thought I'd get a little RF4 fishing in. Uh, we're going to actually try this at Belaya. Um, I do want to ask you to go support my new uh, YouTube channel, all about board games, card games, both physical and digital implementation. Not going to waste your time going on and on about it because you may have caught my last video where I explained it in more detail. But if you're willing to go check it out, I'm going to list it in the description of this video as well as maybe the first comment or something like that. But I really appreciate all the support. It may not be your thing, but if you're interested, by all means. All right, let's get some fishing in. I'm going to try to get full screen here because I'm still uh, not so a little different setup than I'm used to. We're just going to do a little fishing here at Belaya. I'm hoping that the fishing is decent. If you are lower to mid-level, looking for a place to level up some spin fishing, sometimes this at, uh, at Belaya can be a really good place to do it. So we're going to cast with this Spiker 18 at 7137 and see if we can't uh, rustle up some fish. I feel like the audio must be really low. All right, let's just keep casting. So again, we're at 7137 down here at G7. We want to uh, maybe even cast a little further right. Just to the left of that rock is oftentimes kind of where we want to be uh, with, the, with the casts. And because I am using a decent setup here, I'll show you my setup in a minute, but we can uh, get some pretty good distance on that cast as well. A little worried we've had two bites in a row here without a fish. Sorry, two casts in a row. I don't want to be, this to be the most boring Belaya video ever. All right, so I'm going to aim for just left of the rock. And let's see if we can get it going. Obviously, we're at 25 retrieval speed. And... We can cast it pretty far. There we go. So maybe that's going to help if we can consistently get it cast a little further south than I was at first. This looks like a little chub, doesn't it? Yeah, just a little chub. At least we're seeing some, some activity, right? All right. And real quick, I'll show you. We're using the Spiker 18 6.2 fluorocarbon liter, and we are using the Trident Pillar 2 paired with a Legend Ultralight Eight casting rod. Very fun setup. One of my favorite setups to use. Uh, I've got a couple of couple of these combos that I just like. Certain a specific bait casting rod with a specific um, bait casting reel. Uh, low profile bait casting reel is what I was looking for. And uh, I have actually two different pillars are my two favorite ones. I never have purchased like an absolute top of the line one. Um, I mean, mine are pretty close, but you can get a little more extravagant than mine, a little more, a little more strong uh, strength than the ones that I have, but I have, uh, I've really enjoyed these. So the cost of actually getting that top, top tier, to me, never seemed worth it. Because how often am I actually, when I'm doing ultralight, running a smaller setup? Like, for example, this one, this goes up to 8.2 max drag, but we're only using 6.2 fluorocarbon liter. So we're not even, not only are we not overloading it at all, we're not even using, uh, and that's just because, you know, we're trying to really feel these fish we definitely won't, don't want to sacrifice bite rate for having an overpowered setup. So there are occasions when you might use the full power, but this isn't one of them. And by the way, this particular rod only has 10.1 load capacity. Now we have some rods that are going to be a little stronger than that and still be ultralight, but like the Ultima certainly fits the bill, but Again, I just think this is a very fun setup. And whether it's here or Tunguska, even Yama, there's a lot of places where you can take your ultralight setup. I mean, heck, trolling Cory can be a blast. And um, 
get some of those ultralight records. So we are max casting. Probably not required, but gives us a little more time to try to find the fish. Reeling it in at 25 speed. And we've been seeing the species that we're expecting. I, I, I was hoping that the brown trout and the, and the chub, from what I've seen, might be active here. And uh, that does seem to be the case. Uh, we've had some decent brown trout so far. Most of them not markers. Well, actually mixed bag. Some markers, some not marker. Just none of them, none of them big yet. But at least the species is there. I know there's a chance. We'll just keep trying. So anyway, I, I mentioned at the beginning, and I, I won't harp on it the whole video, but I have finally uh, hit the go live button, made the first video for my new. Uh, YouTube channel. By the way, 510 gram brown trout. That feels like the first real brown trout we've had in some ways. You get over that 500 gram marker, it just feels a little different. Oof. Okay, all of a sudden we're hitting some decent fish. I'm assuming this is also a brown trout. Yes, and it's a pretty one. 747, not not the airline. So anyway, um, Table Hogs is the name of the channel. I will link it in the description and in the first comment, as long as I remember. And if you are willing to go check it out, if you're just willing to support me, I would really appreciate it. If you have any interest in board games, card games, physical or digital implementation of those games, then Heck, you might even enjoy the content a little bit, but um, you have always been wonderful as a community supporting me here. And if you feel up to it, you can go support me there as well. I'll be very appreciative. In fact, right now, as I've just pushed go on that first video and not, I have not done any advertising of the channel or anything you have the chance to be the first subscriber or among the first subscribers uh, of the table hogs channel all right so there's that's the first one in a while these last two casts we actually didn't have a fish on so the first ones in a bit we had, haven't caught one as soon as we got the cast right We've had pretty good bite, really bite rate. This is this has been good. The only thing that could be tough is if you are a low lower level player, then um, this is a nice brown trout. It is. It does seem like it's one point one kilos right there. That's awesome. It does seem like the max cast is where we're catching the fish now. Might not be always the case, but Right now, it seems to be. Ooh, there we go. So I don't know if um, if if the experience will be quite as good if you're having you know, too much of a shorter cast than what we're doing. It might be okay, but it does feel like some of those early bites on brown trout are happening at the top of the cast. Is this our first grayling? I think so. It's a decent one. Okay, um, 
I had to pause the recording there just for a minute. So we lost a, know, an hour in the day, but it's also definitely slow in the middle of the day. As you know, if you fished here, it's got to be on fire to not really slow down. So if you happen to be fishing here, you could be hoping for the grayling trophy. That'd be definitely hitting it big. But also keep an eye on if you were to fish here for a little while, things like this chub order three at 750 is possible, though right now it feels to me like it is the brown trout that are the uh, the biggest biters. And as you can see, we are already have almost 50 silver and it hardly feels like we've caught any decent, I mean, not that many decent fish. So they definitely can add up. That's why a lot of low level accounts will come here. Um, and if it's, if it's going well, then good place to be if it's not it can be a little bit um a little bit painful but let's see we were at 71 where we getting where we were fishing at is right here uh, let's just keep going hopefully it will pick back up here in the afternoon that is my hope And it is, again, pretty painful slow here in the middle of the day, but I bet as we get a little later in the afternoon, we'll start seeing a few fish push up. And if I had to guess. This is where you can't be tense. You just gotta just relax, lose yourself in the <laughs> experience of casting. It actually wouldn't be the worst idea ever to just like set up a. That's a nice grayling, by the way. Is to set up a uh, couple theater rods. Try over here, or you could also go over to the other side right behind us and just try to catch some fusion little roach. Kind of a decent grayling. Ooh, okay. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's like 2.20 in the afternoon, and what is this, a grayling? Oh, no, that's a chub, isn't it? Is that a chub? Yeah. It's a nice chub. Man. Two kilo chub. Let's go. Here I am talking to myself into uh, a little sleep or something. And all of a sudden, we catch the biggest fish of the day.
All right, well, the first brown trout we've had in like seven hours. Maybe they will become active again. That grayling hit right at the end. I mean, we were about to pull the lure out of the water when we saw that big grayling come and hit it. But then the chub hit it right as the lure hit the water, basically. We had just started retrieving, I think. You could work in pausing like I did there. Let the let the lure drop a little bit. If you haven't had bites in a while, maybe try that. I tend to just like straight retrieval. And if nothing bites fairly soon, like there's a fish, if nothing bites fairly soon, then hold shift and get that speed up come up to come up every once in a while. But mostly just straight retrievals to me where it's at. But I don't mind a pause right at the end. Let that lure just settle a little bit. Sometimes fish will hit it before you even start retrieving. So that's always fun. There you go. We just had a decent brown trout. Then we had a fish hit it on the drop. Two things have happened. It's gotten a little later in the day and there's overcast. It's not just straight sunny anymore. And we're seeing a little bit of pickup in activity suddenly. We do not mind at all. Now it's full overcast. Very interesting. A sudden change in weather. I kind of like the idea of the partial cloudy. Now I'm not too sure what to think about this full on overcast. We'll keep fishing a little bit longer and hope for the best. Oh, there's a storm coming in. Oh no. Really might not be good. Maybe the storm will bring out the trophies. I love how good the graphics look in this game, even on this laptop. It is very impressive. The way that lightning lit up the sky and shone off the cliff over there. Very cool. There's a nice gray link. Nice. I don't know if the storm is threatening this, but let's see if we can get one more really decent fish here before the day's over. Obviously at night, you do need to fish for something else. Spin, I mean, you can spin fish, but it's going to be so slow. To me, it was always maddening to try to spin fish at night in this kind of situation. So throw some fish pieces or night crawlers on, try to catch burbot. In the deep part of the map or like i said before go to the other side try to catch crucian gibbles sometimes rough is what you want to go for at night especially if you've got a cafe order there can be some nice little rough spots on the other side just got to find them there's a brown trout
Look at him trying to pull us away. That's a nice brownie. Come some, yeah. There we go. The twenty-five retrieval speed seems to be working okay. Twenty-five retrieval speed goes back to my days at Volkov. Back in the day when Volkov was where we all fished at, we'd anchor down our boats out near the uh, kind of what spot? What do we call that spot? It has to do with that one alcohol type. What was it called? Moonshine. Uh, the moonshine spot. Anyway, back then, of course, we were using those big spoons. And um, you would get uh, 25 retrieval speeds seemed to just work really well. Stop and go type retrieval catching all of the um, salmon and worked pretty well. But uh, ever since then, I've just kind of, you know, 25 always feels like the right speed to me. I have to force myself. Sometimes it is in this kind of situation with spinner baits. Sometimes you feel like it works a little better if you slow it down a bit. And then there's other times where speeding it up a little bit might be, might be ideal, but defaulting to 25 is, it's easy for me to do. Very easy. Oh, almost pulled it out before that fish could attack. We've had a pretty good day of fishing, but a lot of non-markers and stuff. But, I mean, it's been good. Like, we've had a decent enough bite rate been fun i don't know what this storm has done i like i really would have loved to have seen how well this day would have finished up without the storm i'm actually going to throw not quite as far right this time just a little bit of variety That didn't really seem to help or do anything, did it? It's 1836. We're in that last window of time. If we're gonna hit some decent fishing, it'll it'll be soon.
I'm going to blame it on the storm. I just think that it's weird that it's died off to this degree. And this time of day, we should be seeing kind of the opposite. We should be seeing more like what it was like in the morning. Maybe not exactly, but more like that. We are, in fact, not seeing that at all. Another decent grayling. All right, last cast. I, I just think it's has slowed down so much. All it the day after this one. It's been good though. I think without the storm, we could have. Oh, okay. There's something. I will cast again if we, after this. We'll give it a couple more casts since we call it. Is that a? That looks like a chub. Even without the storm, I would say, you know, 21, 2200, you're expecting to start having it dry up, but oh, it's another chub. Well, that makes sense. Chub are more active in the, in the evening, so kind of makes sense that we get any activity that might be chub, but I always hope that you'll see one more brown trout, I think. Or a grayling. Not for the storm, especially. Now maybe this will be the last cast.
a fun day at Belaya. I always like fishing Belaya when it's at least somewhat active. And this was just active enough, I think. Storm might have thrown a little bit of a wrench into it, but uh, still pretty interesting. We did get two out of three chubs. So, I mean, I feel like if you're hanging out here, you probably are going to hit that order. And we did 131 silver, so not a bad day at all. Look at that brown trout. Brown trout grayling, brown trout grayling. Unfortunately, the chub, even though it was the biggest fish, chub just don't pay as well. But we had a chance at that cafe order. Just never could get it going. All right, 131 silver. We will take it. We will take that for sure. Uh, and this is where I need to say, as always, thanks for the support. Thanks for being here. You all are the best and uh, look forward to being home again soon and hopefully getting some time with you all as well. But I wish you the best tight lines and I will see you next time.